Hi, what's up guys? Albert with Tiny Bot Vinyl, and we are here continuing on this Kia Optima. I'm gonna walk you guys through how to wrap a front bumper. Looking at the bumper, I didn't take it off. Two reasons. One reason is there's a bit of damage on the bumper and I don't wanna risk breaking it, taking it off. And then two, before you start wrapping bumpers and once you get more advanced, you'll start understanding what the wrap and wrap can't do and um, what your limits are. This one, I've already masked off everything. And the reason for masking that off is because I can use the masking to cut along the edge of this and then I can start tucking underneath. The bumper is pretty round, nothing crazy, no inlays, nothing that I need to do just because dividing the wrap, cutting it down the middle, I can fold over here and tuck, fold over here and tuck, and then I'll show you guys um, as we're wrapping how I do this. All right, so. I want to start off is I want to pull the backing off and work my way back this way. And then after, I'll kind of just try to set my line up because when you pull the backing off, it does tend to, to sag a little bit. So that's what I have right now. As you can see, kind of looks like a mess. So what I want to do is I want to cold stretch this way and I'm gonna cold stretch that way. I just wanna pull the vinyl this way. And as I pull, I'm separating and I'm pulling really hard all the way across. So, I'll go ahead and that, and then just pull. All right. And now you can see as I pulled, kinda of got the wrinkles away. The wrinkles start coming back this way, but here, I am pretty good, and then I have my crease right here. So I'm okay with that to start off with. And I'll go ahead, probably about to right there, and then just, just like that. And then, and that was my cold stretch. Now I'll come back with my squeegee. I always put my slippy solution on my squeegee. I just wet it and I want to pick a hinge point because if I don't, as I keep pulling up, putting down, pulling up, putting down, pulling up, putting down, it's just going to keep lifting. So I want to make sure, pick my point, I'm good with up to there, and I'm good with up to there. All right, so what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and set my heat up and then I want to separate the film. And then I am going to pull as I lay down. And then just keep it as I stretch and lay the film down. And you can see how I got it perfectly laid out. Just like that. You can see how much access film I have all this up here as I lay stuff down I want to make sure that I'm cutting the things that I don't need out to not fight the film so I know my edge is right here and I just want to take a little bit of this film because I still have that half to do so I don't want to go that way and I'll give myself about two three inches now I can lift the film without any trouble. So I just want to focus on this because down here I do have to cut, lay in and stuff, but I just kind of want to glass out the film right now. Here, I know I can get away probably getting up to here and putting tension on the film. And I just want to put heat on the film and if I stretch good, if I stretched it properly, the film just lays right into the bumper. I don't have to stretch or fight or anything. You saw I just put a little bit of heat and relax the film and the film did exactly what it was supposed to do. Here I don't really need to set up my big heat lamp because I want to make sure you guys see everything. Just want to go ahead and kind of soften up the film. And what I want to do, since I'm at the end of the bumper and there's a corner up here and a corner down here, I want to pull towards those corners 
and then stretch at the same time to glass it out. And if I have a little bit of wrinkles left, I'll just go back and stretch it. As long as I pull with the bumper, um, the vinyl will just wrap around. And then you can just heat it and around trimming my edges to not be fighting the film. Just like that. And then like I said, this is uh, all gonna get laid in. Just like that. Got everything glassed out, now we're gonna head over to the other side. When it comes to the wrinkles, come back, keep this a little bit. All I'm doing is relaxing the film. You can see there's a lot of wrinkle buildup here and a lot of you know peeling back here so what I want to do is I probably want to pull it back to here reheat it and then stretch apart towards each corner and pull all the way through the vinyl has been sitting here for a while so I just want to make sure I warm it up it's kind of cold today so I want to make sure I just kind of give it a little bit of heat before I start ripping it off because sometimes the vinyl will tear I do want to cut some of this film off. Just on the seat. Pull towards this corner and hinge. Go right here, I have these wrinkles. I just want to heat, relax the film. Same thing here, heat, relax the film, and lay it. I don't want to tuck this in here. This is this in here, I want to lift and tuck on my edge. So I'll lift that in there. Here, I want to make sure I tuck right there. And then now that it's tucked, I can go in here. Got the wrap. I just want to keep tucking until I can't really get any more film in there. Before I cut anything, there is a uh, fog light here and then I do have a quite a bit of trim so I want to do is I just want to cut what the fog light is and the reason for cutting the fog light is just to kind of get some relief from the film and you'll see once I heat it start shrinking see that and the reason for that is that when we pull the film we stretched it this way so the film wants to go back. So you don't ever want to tuck and then cut because when you go to heat, the film will peel back and then you'll start having, um, you'll start showing um, pain. So what you want to do is kind of cut a relief, kind of relax the film and let the film kind of stretch back and then you tuck. And what I did here was, as I started finding my edge, 
start making relief cuts and that's very crucial when you're laying the film because you don't want to force the film in because then it will peel back so as you kind of start feeling your edge and then also that's a, another reason why the tape helps is you feel the tape and you're like okay i'm pretty close you feel the edge and then you see as you put your tape right to the edge the, the tape is about an inch and a half inch and three quarters you know now that you're in the edge how much film you have so you can start trimming it back and getting to the edge that you need to get because now I have about an inch all the way around and I can put it with two. All right, now I have this rule. And when you get to your edge, I can use my tucking tool and I get right to the edge. So now I know my edge is right here. I give myself a quarter inch of vinyl and the reason for that is once I get my edge I'm like okay my edge is right here I have a rule that once I know where my edge is I go and I trim back all the way around that edge about a quarter inch and the reason for that is now that I'm close to my edge I can cut the film lift the film off the tape and try to tuck a little bit more and as I start getting in more and more to that edge or to where I need to tuck I start trimming more up then I give myself I'm about say an eighth of an inch cutting and then I go back and I try to tuck it in more and I keep doing that until I know that I'm really tucked in that place. All right, that's wrapping up this video, guys. I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And if you guys like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and then comment down below any other cars that you guys want to see us do. Um, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up, so you guys make sure you stay tuned. Peace.